What's going on guys, this is Alec here and welcome to episode number one of my Swansea City career mode. It has been a while. Um, quick disclaimer, there was a lot of uh, file corruption at the first bit of um, my recording of this career mode, but that's fine, I got them out of fix and none of the games are uh, impacted. Just as, as you can see here a bit at the start, it's all a bit crazy. Um, some objectives just to go over, the, the board wanted us to finish the season with around six or seven million in our bank. Uh, they obviously want us to get promoted. What I've just showed you there is my sort of beginning concept of what the two teams are going to be the first team and the second team first signing of the season is going to be a loan for angel gomez of manchester united as you can see there 75 25 split uh, mike van der horn welcomes us to the club on behalf of the whole of swan uh, Swansea, I'd like to welcome you to the team. First international friendly game is against Frosinone, and we win that one 2 1. There we are, just confirmation that Angel Gomez uh, has been loaned in. We also get a transfer offer here from Erwin Mulder, 1.45 million. I do really like Erwin Mulder in real life, but um, he's he's gone our third choice keeper now, so um. Yeah, I'll get rid of him to sell to get a bit of funds in for us, 1.5 million. Uh, our next game, up against Genk. Uh, and just while everything's running in the background, it's, pro it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, and my voice will come in in about 20 seconds time or so. Um, hopefully this has a lot of support. I'll probably be uploading videos dependent on, um, on the support it gets or if it gets any support at all. Um, so yeah, I'll see. If it's, if it's a lot, then I'll try and keep the frequency of them going strong um and yeah the next thing i want to do is i'm not going to uh, go through the whole transfer window i want to hear your guys feedback before i finish that off um because obviously there's a lot of cl a couple of signings that i know you guys will want to make the last signing we make um as we beat union Bill Berlin to get into the final is uh, is George Thomas, uh, a youngster from Leicester, 22 years old, Welsh lad, um, and we get him into the team as just a replacement option for any of attackers. So, yeah, hopefully this gets some support this year. Uh, I'd love to keep this properly going, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the episode. Okay, so unfortunately, I didn't realise until I'd recorded half of that that. Um, Actually, uh, the recording was all corrupted, but it should all be fine now. I'm pretty sure I've fixed it, um, and I'll probably have talked over it in the intro anyway. So, coming back to some live stuff, we have an injured player, Mike Van Horn, three days. That's not too bad. Um, we have really good idea of tactics. Cool, that's fine. And Tom Carroll, Millwall, want to buy Tom Carroll. Now, Tom Carroll, not really a player that I want to see leave. Um, so I'm going to reject. I was going to ask Millwall for a lot of money, but I, I don't think Millwall will be capable of pay, paying um, the sort of six million that I'd maybe take for him. Okay, so one player I'm actually interested in, as you'll be able to see on the screen here as we meet with the manager, we're actually going to be discussing uh, a transfer of a, a possible Bastian Schweinsteiger just to get some real experience in the team. Now I'm gonna be really cheeky here and offer like 750,000 and hope that they don't get offended by it. And they have. Uh, <laughs> so maybe that will have to be one that we'll visit at the end of um, the window. Okay, so we've got a transfer offer for Nathan Dyer and I'm not sure what you guys would want me to do in, in this situation, but I'm actually going to block all offers. Um, I want Nathan Dyer to stay at the club and for him to retire. Same with Wayne Redwood as well, proper club legends. Um, really the only ones that we've got left at the club. I don't know how to do that, I'm just going to add them. Get them growing a little bit more. Joe Roden here in that 69 rating. Okay, so we've had our scouts, scout reports back for uh, the players that we have transfer listed here. As you can see, two young left backs, both 22 years of age. This is the guy that I'm interested more in, Mittelstadt, uh, the German guy, and then we'll go on to Marin if needs be. Um, Schweinsteiger, we actually are able to put an offer back in for him. So between him, Klavan, um, and Siovas here we've got a couple of good defensive options you may be wondering like why are you signing these they're all old um i i think what really is needed in this team as well as in real life is a good experience head at the back so after learning that bastian swansegger has actually already moved to uh, amiens in the french league we're gonna have a meeting with um why do i recognize that guy's face that's the old oh my god what's that 
who is that guy? Right, okay. We're gonna see what type of deal we want to pursue. We're gonna offer a transfer fee. It's currently valued at 5.5 .5 million. We've got 15 there. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just offer six. I'm not sure whether they'll accept that. And they will. Um, I can't think who that guy is. I wanna say the old Southampton or Watford coach. But that's all done. So we'll get through the contract stages. As you can see, he's six foot four, so he's quite the presence. Roll at the club will be the first part. And we'll go uh, important. And they want crucial. Okay, that's fair enough. We'll accept that. Two year deal they want, and that's fine by me. He's 30 years of age. Two years is fine. I'll disregard the release clause. And then this is the wage they want. So he'll take a pay cut, but he wants a signing bonus as well as an opponent as a bonus after 15 appearances and we'll just counter that I'm happy with everything they've quoted but let's just see if we can get him on um, a tiny bit less wages around there see what they say to that um, and they're pretty persistent with that okay so I'll counter the bonuses and we'll drop that down to 250 see if they accept that okay and there we go that's all done and Siovas is now a Swansea City player. Okay, so Mittelstadt is um, actually uh, a base card, um, a left midfielder, but we're going to be signing him as a left back, which doesn't bother me too much um, because we want uh, uh, him to be fairly attacking. I'm going to offer 5.8. I don't think this will work for the younger player. Okay, they want a 5% uh, sell on clause. That's fine by me. And 5.8 is the deal. So you both discuss the role. I'll go I'll go important, he's 73 rated, he should accept that, no he was crucial, that's fine, we'll accept that. And how many years? Uh, 22 years of age, I'll say 4, I would like 5 but they don't usually accept that. So 4 years, no release clause, that's fine by me. And then the wage is the final thing, he's offered a pretty good wage, he's not going to get 15 goals this season. Um, so I'm more than happy to accept all of that and Mitten, oh god I'm going to have to learn his name now Mittelstadt is now a Swansea City player so we've got our first press conference of the series Hi guys, I think we're ready for questions now first game in the championship up against Hell at home so Swansea's run of form in pre-season has left fans wanting more of the same once it gets serious how does it impact the squad ahead of the first game? I say we're working hard every day. Team morale goes up in the top left hand side. Hopefully we can continue winning. We're working hard every day on the training fields to ensure. Is promotion more than a dream for Swansea? I say we can definitely push for it. Promotion this year. Uh, achieving things is what the game's all about. So there's no reason to feel any pressure. It's what we are training for. So they're asking about middle stats debut. And as you can see there he pops up on the left hand side. Um, I'm going to say it would be good for the team. I won't say it would be brilliant from the get go, put too much pressure on him. As you can see, it's exactly what we need right now. And then, thank you. Okay, guys, I'll take we're no out more of questions. Time. So, it's just the three questions I believe that are asked every Peps conference. Okay, so first game up at the Liberty. We take on Hull. Hi there, City. everybody. We're at the Liberty Stadium in Swansea. Welcome to you all. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. And it's the start of the season for both these teams. It's Swansea City against Hull City. Well, so much hope for both clubs before a ball has been kicked. Nobody's made a mistake yet, and as a player, you just want to get off to a good start. Hopefully a winning one. Got Borja Basson leading the line today at number nine. I think hopefully the teams will pop up. Uh, in a sec, and this is a game that I think we should be winning. Um, I can't remember. This is the lineup for the home side. Life. This is our team. So we've got Woodman and Goals, Roberts, Van der Hoorn, Joe Roden, and Mickey Stack, Jay Fulton and Grimes just in behind them, and Andre Ayew, Selina Peterson just in behind Borja Baston, as you can see there. None of the new signings that I've made. Uh, oh, actually, Mitten Stat is in there, sorry, I apologise. Um, and a few other new ones uh, like Peterson and Woodman that were signed in real life. New. 
the Hull City team, they've got a fairly decent team. We've got the Hull City team here for you. Probably the most dangerous player. We think Alan is going to be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five in midfield. midfield. Henriksen have a good player. Couple at least will be trying to support Bowen the lone front. Hamilton and Bowen are the really spot up front. Henriksen and Bowen are the danger men here. Liage is... No, I don't know if I'm probably not saying that way past him. Liage, he is an experienced player. Wait. Everything ready for the kickoff. So one thing I've already noticed on this game that um, I'm not too much of a fan of is uh, you can see players that were thermos for the Swans that Conor Walvis has there. Um, they're actually showing up uh, as black sleeves. So um, yeah, maybe maybe something that will. Uh, be fixed within the patch, but we'll try and feed balls out that strong now. There's a ball up the right. Oh, the lead is here for the taking. We'll try and get the ball in his right foot. Have a shot. Just put it's not off far his away. Accuracy. Good for his defenders challenge. Put a close well, touch dribbling. Well, he can with the fact he's getting there first. Doesn't go too far over. He gets a good connection. Maybe too good. And they've gone and come for attack here. Well, here he goes. It's good to see him play and do this. He plays it into Riage. Good for a shot. Very good stop here. Come to the it's a corner for the Hull. Will win. So easy in possession. Having got the He's ball on his left hand side, Conor Robbins does well. Good screening. 23 minutes into the game. The Haven't really had anything to report apart from that back shot. Being down now. Early on. Um, yeah, it's been a kind of cagey game. So kind of getting used to the right. controls. Selena, good chance to this play does in. look promising. Andre Ayu. Ayu. And he gets the ball in. Teammates are driving. And they score. That's the first goal of the season. They've opened the scoring here. <laughs> Jay Falco, not the most likely of scorers, but we'll take it. A well worked. Uh, it was kind of a kind of attack in move. Well, he knew exactly where the goalkeeper was going. And he just steered it past him into the bottom corner. Yeah, he's a fine finisher, this boy, and uh, never panics. Well passes it, passes it into him. that corner. And the keeper's got a more real chance there. It's been tight before that goal, it's been but now the manager is so pleased sort of because I reckon he Hallam feels his team could go on and win this. But, um, good start. Andre Ayu. Ayu. Andre Ayu. The ball in a good position, he can slip through that storm. Puts it on to his right foot, and I'm not sure that not a good reflection. The bust on the score. They've worked very hard for this. It gets should get them across the line at the end of the match, we'll see. Let's have a look at this. I'm not sure that, I'm pretty sure this took a deflection. I think it'll go down as bust on score. As you can see, Andre Ayu plays in for the second assist of the game. And Bastos just gets it onto his right foot, and that's unlucky for the goalkeeper and the defender. Another angle on defender it here. sticks a leg out, and as you can see, it just kind of loops over the keeper. He can't quite get there. It goes into the bottom corner, and Bastos is off the mark for the season. And we're 2 0 up. Like from Alan McAnally coming up now. A goal in the Wigan game. Which team has it gone to? It's the second goal for Cardiff City. 55 minutes played. 2 1. Surely. Selena gets it onto his right foot. Good save. The first of Baston. They couldn't stop him the first time. Score. They haven't he will score. He won't miss from there. And he's leading his team two for Baston. The best possible way with two goals today. Comfortable. First victory of the season. In that game, and they are winning to by two goals to one. And they are here on his right hand side. Got time to do what he wants with it. Good turn from Baston, and he nice scores goal. through the keeper's legs. Patrick for Baston in his first game. And it's a perfect day for the player. What a player. Him and IU linking up down that right hand side. Like I said, I will have to change the sliders on this. It is a bit easy. Well, no wonder getting too much time on the ball. It's a good turn. Anyway. Super to celebration. To get a hat trick oh, is a fantastic experience, and he's just done well, that. Well, having scored two, he was just legs. so full of confidence, and he never looked like missing that ball, chance. Yeah. What about Baston? Thomas to Baston. Thomas gets it back. Oh, oh no! I was, off, I was off celebrating there. Well, this is the time where wow, the what an effort really that was from George Thomas on his day. And that's it. 
for full time. Swansea City 4, Hellas City nil. We've got a hat trick from Borja Baston. It was absolutely uh, the first goal of the game, obviously. Exceptional, came from James Fulton. Excellent. Definitely started how so we need to go on, but like I said, I'm going to have to change the side of difficulties to make it a bit more difficult for to attack and defend. Um, I think like, this was probably the best chance a lad all game. That's never really testing with me too much. Okay, so we've got a post-match interview. Um, how happy are you with your first win under your belt as Swansea's manager? I'd say there's still lots to do. It was a good result, but we can't get carried away. There's still a lot to do if we want to come out this season with our heads held high, which is true. Can't dwell on that first one. Why didn't Sovius get a chance to make his debut? I'm going to say he needs time to adjust, and if he keeps making the leaps and bounds in training like he currently is, then I'm sure everything will come together soon. That has boosted his morale a little bit. Mint starts putting a great performance on his first match as, Swans as a Swansea player. What do you make of such a strong debut? It's clear to see why I brought him in. What more can I ask for? He's eager to play and has shown that today. I think it's clear to see why I brought him in. Thanks, that'll be all for today. Okay, that's our interview done. And that's also the end of the episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. I, like I said, sorry, really sorry. I did put a comment in there uh, about the game volume. It will be changed for the ne next episode. Uh, hopefully a, a good few of you tuned in and enjoyed. And, you know, depending on support, hopefully I'll be able to upload these uh, quite frequently. Cheers for watching.